Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Morgan with Intellisys, and this afternoon I am with John Delosier, who happens to be the SVP of Global Channels for 8x8. And we're just going to share one of the typical conversations we had pre work from home and post work from home. So, John, how's it going? Good, man. Good. I don't know if we can share our typical conversation, but we can make it as close to typical as possible, right? That's going yeah. great, man. That's right. Yeah, well, good. I hope your family's well. And last time we talked, I think was um, maybe two months ago. I think it was week one of the work remote environment that everyone's living in now. Um, as I recall, it was probably 830 on a Saturday night. And one of the interesting things in that conversation, you know, between my wife and your wife saying, hey, what are you doing on the phone on a Saturday night? Um, <laughs> was the fact that eight by eight in one week had moved from thousands of partners to a little over 4 million partners on your platform. So what does that look like today? Yeah, yeah, crazy. Obviously, uh, you know, from toilet paper to communications, we had insane things happening over the last few months. And, and so from that time, so you were right, we we're about a week into it. And we've gone from thousands of users to, I, to your point, a little over 4 million. Yesterday, we closed at 21 million users on wow. the 8x8 collaboration platform, the one we're recording on right now. So it's, uh, it's insane, Mark. I mean, it has just gone through the roof. How do you guys look at um, the opportunity for the channel once we go back to whatever normal looks like? How do you see demand? How do you see the channel participating in, you know, turning all of those 20 some odd million users, at least a high percentage of that into um, revenue generating partners? Well, we're already, look, we're already in it. Uh, I know we'll talk a lot about tomorrow in a bit, but right now I will tell you that the demand's gone through the roof. You would think that with everybody going home, and the communications platforms and, and the participation in those platforms socially as we knew it and office buildings, et cetera, would change. And for us, there's definitely, it was a bump, right? We, the hospitality customers, the travel customers, those folks that are in those kind of businesses that are very people intensive, et cetera, it, it literally stopped overnight. And so uh, our pipeline was affected. You know, we had, we had some business that we had teed up in those industries that went away. That said, it pales in comparison to what's happened since then and during even that dissipation. We, we have picked up business with hospitals and schools and uh, municipalities all over the world. It's, gone, it's truly, Mark, gone through the roof. We have a knitting club that meets on our platform. I mean, it's just insane. It, it has really, really been interesting to be at home and to watch the spike in business. And you know, I will tell you that we're not going to ever apologize over here for having a warehouse full of water during a drought. I mean, it just happens to be that uh, our software, the 8x8 platform was built for remote workers. And that's what we're seeing. You know, it's interesting. Um, at ScanSource Intellisys and, and, and our global operations, within two days, we were, we, we were, 100% remote. Um, when our CEO said, hey, this is what we're going to do. We want to protect the health of all of our team. We went remote and it was flawless. Um, a lot of what we heard from the channel, both both our, our partner community with Intellisys and, and our VAR community with ScanSource is that a lot of people, a lot of end customers that thought they were prepared found out that they had tested, maybe tested their VPNs on a small group their premise-based systems that they thought would work in a remote situation. They didn't, it did not work as, as flawlessly as a lot of companies did. And, um, you know, because of that and the feedback we got from the channel around opportunity, we believe that there is going to be an explosive opportunity. Um, one, there's obviously sharp demand now, but an explosive co opportunity coming out of this you guys see the th the same thing, and and how how long of a run do you think it'll, it'll be? Do you think it's a short term play, or is it, or is this the tipping point to where 
anyone that was standing in the way of cloud knows now that uh, that they need to go in that direction. Oh, it's great. It's great. Great question. I think it's all changed and I think it's all going to change moving forward. Let me talk about IntelliSys and ScanSource for one second. So it's no secret. And sometimes I take some criticism for this, by the way, which cracks me up because if you want to be, everybody's got an equal shot, right? It's the marketplace. It's fair. And uh, IntelliSys and ScanSource, uh, both VARs and the agent sub community continue, continue to rise up. Uh, that family of partners, it's, it's our, you are our number one partner. And, you know, we do a lot of business together. You know, we see a lot of opportunity together and I have seen the same explosion. What I've said to not only the ScanSource family of partners and the partner community as a whole is, is this is, nobody's seen this. Nobody's seen what's happening like today in a hundred years. My CEO, Vic Verma, who I know your pals with said to me, it's like the worst hurricanes, 9-11, and 20 other disasters hit the entire world at the exact same time. And so it's, it's all changed. And I think there's a lot of mystery there for customers. They're not really sure what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, what's cloud all about? Is it reliable? Is it secure? Can I pull my contact center in with collaboration? There's a lot of mystery. And I always say to the partner community, where there's mystery, there's margin. That's, that's what you want. Now, you don't want a disaster, obviously, right? But what yeah. you do want is the opportunity to counsel and, you know, consult with your customer base and show them what it's all about. So, look, I it's a little windy, sorry, but I think the future has changed. I think that, um, you know, we're going into a golden age of communication for all the wrong reasons. You know, all of the things that have happened have just accelerated this thing. And I believe, Mark, that, you know, businesses tomorrow are going to go out and you're starting a company or you're expanding. The first question might have used to be, you know, am I going to get some space and where is that space going to be? And what's it going to look like? No. The question is going to be now first, what's my communication system look like? Yeah. Because if something like this happens again, right? I mean, you got to be prepared. So I think yeah. it's all changed. So, you know, you, you mentioned contact center. Do you have an example of, <clears throat> of, um, out of the box strategy that you guys might have implemented over the past couple of weeks, just around contact center along a, a lot of, a lot of times you, when people think of contact center, they think of a, a lengthy implementation and integration. Did you have situations to where you created quick start opportunities for, for end customers for contact center? Yeah, we sure did, especially around healthcare. So we've had a couple healthcare uh, agencies. We had a major, hospital that specializes in pediatrics. Um, we had hospitals all over Italy that use our product, literally call in and say, hey, uh, the demand is through the roof. We have beds in between the building and the parking lot. Uh, we're taking care of people in the front yard. We need, uh, we loved ones are trying to find out what's going on, you know, with their parents or their grandparents or their kids, or um, we were trying to schedule appointments. We also, by the way, from a telemedicine perspective, are trying to diagnose over the web, et cetera. So can you stand something up for us? And that's the beauty of cloud, Mark. You know this. There's yeah. no truck pulling up back there, pulling off a big old PBX and a three-day cutover where I'm bringing the beer and the pizza. You know, those days are over. And so that's the beauty of cloud. You can move quickly uh, and, and mobilize your, your team and your communications platform and all the workers involved. So yeah, we were standing up contact centers in lobbies, uh, out back under tents. It's been really intense. Well, that's good. I, I think, I think um, I've heard that I've heard similar stories multiple times. And I think one of the key things that, that we've been looking at, you know, back earlier this year, we, we, we started adding to our staff with IntelliSys. We continue to invest there. And, and not only are we doing everything we can right now, to potentially help partners with um, with escalations, et cetera, in their commissions on the IntelliSys side. We've been doing a lot to help, um, you know, a lot of the guys on the VAR community that have been maybe sitting on the, on the fence for moving from, you know, prem base to cloud. Um, and we saw a lot of demand there. So everything that we're focused on right now is, is, you know, it's basically this. Early on, we heard um, a lot of what now, what do I do now? 
we, you know, we did everything we could to shore up our business and put the right people in the right seats around, you know, potential issues and escalations around end customers. But today we're moving to what's next. You know, what, what do we need to be prepared for tomorrow and the upcoming months and the upcoming quarters? How are you guys? What are you thinking? And what do you, what do you see coming? Um, and how are you preparing for simply what's next? Yeah, it's uh, look, it's changed forever. It's not going back. Somebody, I did a podcast this past week with uh, Marcus Kalki in the UK, and he said to me that the technology toothpaste has been squeezed out of the tube and it's not going back in. And I, I, I thought it was a really good word picture because it has happened now. And so there's no return. So for us, it's really uh, g- gathering around our partners, regardless of route to market. So, you know, with ScanSource and our partnership that we don't, we don't really mind how you go to market. You want to be a master sub agent. Great. we got a program for you with the partnership. You want to continue down the path of VAR and do your thing. Great. we got a plan for you as well. And what we're trying to do is really uh, make sure that we enable and educate and, and teach the partners what to look for, how to position cloud even outside of our products. And, uh, and as they move forward to really knock down business, somebody said to me the other day, I, I actually heard this from you at one point um, in one of your onstage talks. You talked about the TAM available. I right. think we, debate, we all debated what is it, 80 billion, 100 billion, 120 billion in cloud. We don't really know. But if you added up every single cloud company today, every supplier today, us and all of our competitors, we make up 13% of a $100 billion TAM. And you know, you know us, we, don't, we go to market only with partners. Yeah. So, I mean, it's right there for the taking. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly right. So that's a, the size of the market, the speed of the market, and the opportunity out there is, is, is it, I think for me, yeah, I think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to participate in one of the biggest technology, technology transitions, at least in my lifetime and, and yours as well. So look, I don't want to take any more of your time. I think that's a great way to end. And um, John, I hope you and your family have a great weekend. Hey, Mark, thanks for thanks for having me. And uh, it's always fun doing this with you. I'm excited about the future with 8x8 and ScanSource. Uh, we love that IntelliSys community. And we really, truly look forward to what's next. So thanks again. All right, John, thank you. See you, my friend.